Dr. Jeff Steinberg was involved in creating the world's first test tube baby back in 1978. At his clinic in LA, he's still helping people to conceive. So are these all pictures of test tube babies? They sure are. They sure are. Some of thousands. But nowadays, he's helping couples create their very own designer babies. His clinic routinely screens embryos for genetic diseases. And more controversially, it was the first in the world to offer people the choice of cosmetic traits. Selecting offspring like this could change the course of our evolution. And it all starts with something that still utterly amazes me, the very beginnings of human life, a living embryo. So we'll come over here and this will give us a great chance to actually watch the, um, the biopsy of the embryo. So this is when you take the cell to look at the genetics? Yeah, so to do that, we've got to separate the one cell from the other eight cells inside the embryo. And you can do that, you can, you can take a cell away and, and the embryo will still it, carry on developing here. normally. Totally normally, it's like it never happened. So, you can see the multiple cells on the embryo. So at the moment it's a ball of water, but eight cells? Uh-huh, an eight cell embryo. We've applied the suction pipette to it so that'll hold it in place for us. And now we're gonna pierce the zona pellucida, the outer shell yeah. that protects the embryos. And we're actually gonna prepare to go in and remove one of these cells so that we can analyze it genetically. Just a moment here, boom, and there, there, it's out. And you can see the remainder of the embryos not phased a bit by that. So then you're able to look at the genes contained within exactly that cell, right. yep. which are identical to all the other yep. ones. Yep. and right. analyse it and look at, the, right. look at the genes that you've got there and exactly screen right. it. That's exactly right. By screening a cell from each embryo, Dr Steinberg can work out which embryos are free from genetic diseases. But he can also screen the embryo for other traits. So you're also picking up the sex of the embryo. Yes, we are. So right. are you actually allowing people to choose whether they have we a boy or a girl? Any, anyone can choose here, yep. They can choose a boy, choose a girl. And we've done this um, close to uh, 9,000 times now. It just seems so peculiar, such an odd thing to do, to be able to determine the, the sex yeah. of your baby. But again, I mean, if a couple has five girls, they're going to walk in and say, we want a boy. OK, so what about other traits that, you know, not the sex of the embryo, not things right. which are, you know, potentially going right. to cause a disease, but, I mean, other things like, I don't know, maybe eye colour or hair colour? We actually isolated the genes that allow us to choose eye colour and hair colour in the Scandinavians, all right? We announced it, and we started hearing from people that were interested in this, but we also heard from a lot of people on the outside, including the Catholic Church, that had some big problems with it. And they said, no, not at this point. So we retracted it. We, even though we can do it, we're not doing it. So the technology is available technology right is now available, yes. to basically have a designer baby where you choose the, choose the sex, choose the eye color, choose the hair color, choose how intelligent they are. In our lifetimes, I think we will see tremendous advances made in determining where intelligence comes from, identifying the genes that are associated with intelligence, and perhaps maybe not being able to guarantee an intelligent person, but certainly guarantee that we will contain the chromosomes that lead to the ability to develop better intelligence. Do you think this is a good idea? I'm not sure if it's a good idea, and that's why we're not forcefully pursuing it right now. And we're going to need help from the outside world. We need help from the ethicists, we need help obviously from the geneticists, and we need help from society.